So today's adventure, we are going out to a place called Pine Island. And my friend says it's really nice out there. And so we're on our way there. I stopped at another friend's house who, she has a fenced yard and a doggy and they all got to play together and run around in her yard for, oh, an hour or so. That was really nice. And now we're on our way out to Pine Island. So I think I'll probably flip the camera around and uh, let you see a little bit of the scenery while we're out there. This just seems really, really beautiful out through here. I think that if I uh, win the Powerball anytime soon, I'll be moving here. This is great. So pretty. there's still a lot of storm damage here. Oh, I can see it up here. Wow. Off to the right here. Look at that. total devastation out here. Wow. So pretty. I suppose it probably wasn't pretty in the height of the storm, though. That probably would not be very much fun at all. kids, they're in the back, and they're all tuckered out from running around playing with my friend's dog in her yard, so they're being really chill right now, which is good, because that gives me time to look around and give you guys a scenic tour. I believe we're on Pine Island now. We'll go up here and see if we can find some water and maybe I can get out and uh, get some really nice uh, footage up here, hopefully. We'll see what happens. I think I'm going to hang a left here and go down this way first. Back up, go up the other way. Hmm. What a cute little town. It's like there's quite a lot of things here. I just love this. I just love this. I really, really, really would love to live here year-round. We'll see what happens in the future. Maybe. You never know. Maybe. Okay, we're going to take a little bit of a scenic drive again.
we're just coming into this little town called St. James City. And I'm going to take a look around up here and see what kind of cool things we can find to look at. Check out. air smells so salty here. I know for people who are used to living in an area like that, they're used to it, but I just love the smell. It's really cool. You can still see some of the storm damage here. Off to the right, the trees. And I've seen a lot of reconstruction of the buildings and some of the homes and businesses. It seems like quite a busy little town here. I think we may be, in, be able to go down here and end up by the beach, maybe, and get a little bit of ocean view time, hopefully. Well, there's the water right in front of us, but it says no parking here, so I guess I'm going to have to turn around. That's okay. We'll just turn around and go back up this way. And uh, we'll see what else we can see. Going in the other direction. Seems like a lot of cute little places down here I'd like to check out and visit. Lots of little uh, restaurants. That would be fun. I love seafood. Not today, but maybe before I leave, I'll come down here and visit some of them. And I'll take you with me when I do. The kids woke up from their slumber. Now they're checking everything out, looking out the window saying, Hey mom, can we go splash in the beachy water? Well, I don't know. I can't seem to find a beachy water area for them to splash in right now, but maybe kiddos, maybe my little darlings, you never know what we're going to find. Right, baby? Who's a pretty boy? Victor's a pretty boy. Oh yeah, they're having fun. They're such good kids most of the time. I mean, they get pretty rowdy sometimes, and sometimes I want to pull my hair out with this little Emmy girl, but you know what? I would be lost without these kids. They're my babies. All right, let's get back to the tour. We're gonna go back up the other way and go up um, toward Bokelia. Bo Bokelia, yes. And then I'll, uh, I'll be back with you when we get up that way.
so we're now in Boquilia. I'm gonna drive around a little bit here and oh I can see the water up ahead. I hope there's a place to pull over up here and, and look at the beach and the, and the water. We'll see. Maybe. a lot of no parking signs up here but let's go check it out oh look at this look how beautiful this is wow that's awesome well I have no idea where I'm going I saw a sign a little ways back that said there was no outlet so <laughs> I guess we're gonna eventually have to turn around to get back out of here but we'll see fish house. How about that? Okay, I pulled over here in a parking spot. <laughs> they're barking at a couple guys that's walked out of the restaurant right behind us. And their parking lot is right on the water. This is friggin' cool. Now, it's parking for the restaurant only, so I'm not going to stay here. I just wanted to pull up and show you this. There's people fishing on that pier over to the right. And, uh, wow. Okay. So I'm going to back out of here and go around the other way and see what's around the other side. Because I don't want to, um, I would kind of like to go in the restaurant and check it out but it's just too hot out here to leave the kids in the car I I could leave it running with the AC on but then you know I'm I get a little bit nervous about that because I uh, you know if, if the van shut off or something that would not be good so I guess I will just turn around and we'll come back and visit this place again another time. Is it what a what a wonderful place? Okay, I just don't know where I'm going here. But anyway, okay. Yep, I'm definitely gonna come back over here one of these days and check out this restaurant. Looks like it would be really really fun. All right, I'm gonna go find some place else to look at. Okay, yeah, so I could just stay here all day for the rest of my life. Yep, right there on out on that little set of beach chairs. That would be perfect. Oh, this is beautiful. I, I just even kind of don't even want to think about how much these places cost. Bigger than a fortune, probably. decided to cruise the neighborhood. I've been seeing a lot of for sale signs. Now this seems like a really nice little neighborhood here. Really pretty and clean. Nice. Okay guys, I'm moving. Yep. In my dreams. 
then again, dreams do come true sometimes. This is so nice. I am so thankful just to be able to come down here for the winter and drive around and see all these things. It's just really nice. You know, some people, they're in love with the mountains and some people are in love with the, uh, the desert. And I have always been in love with tropical, like, beachy areas. That's just where my heart is, even though I didn't grow up here. But um, I just love this. Yeah, it's awfully hot and sticky sometimes, but I think that's just part of the charm for me. Okay, well, I guess I'm at a dead end, so I'm going to turn around and go somewhere else. Okay, we turned around. The kids are telling me it's time to go another direction because it's getting close to their dinner time. So I think we're going to go and, and head back in toward Fort Myers, and uh, I think we're going to maybe stop. i I got to stop and buy them some some more food. So we're going to go and get something to eat. And then uh, I don't know what we're going to do from then on. Okay. But we'll see. Who knows? This is the fun part of this whole thing is I just don't have to be on a time schedule or a plan or anything else. As long as me and my kiddos are happy, that's what matters. All right. We'll catch you all in a bit. On the right is all the palm trees that I saw coming in. I wonder if that's a palm tree plantation or farm or something. I don't know, but there's a whole lot of them over there. This is so peaceful. So this is the little town of Matlacha. Really kind of cute, but there sure is a lot of damage to the buildings here from the storm. Lots of little activities going on here and little shops and looks like a lot of art stuff around here. Nice colors, little jewelry boutiques and bar and grills. Kinds of neat little stuff here. Nice. I'd like to come over and just walk around and do things sometime once I have a, a safe place for the kiddos to stay while I'm out. You know, where they won't be too hot or anything like that.
and that will come. I wouldn't mind coming out and going fishing again. It's been <clears throat> a few years since I've been fishing, so I would like to do that again one day. Alright, we'll be back with you in a little bit. Well, we are back home, and little Miss Emmy's barking at somebody. Emmy, shh. You know, they're like kids when you get on the phone or the video, they want to make noise and stuff like that. Hold on a second. She's fairly adamant that she wants to bark. And now I'm all hot and sweaty. We were good, but when I got back, I was moving some uh, dog run panels, and I got all hot and sweaty. Anyway, I'm going to get a little doggy run set up for them. So, Thanks, guys, for coming along today on our ride. It was fun. I had fun. I hope you guys enjoyed the scenery and, and the video. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to give us that thumbs up because it helps our videos get seen more. And I am this close to being monetized, and that will really help. All I need is a little bit more watch time. So as soon as I get that, I'll be monetized. That'll help our budget, and we can go and do more driving around videos and go do some more things and make more videos. So thank you so much for watching. See y'all later. Have a wonderful evening. Look how pretty it is here. Okay, see ya.